गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन द टॉपिक रिप्रोडक्शन दैट इज गैमेटोजेनेसिस गैमेटोजेनेसिस इज ए टर्म इन विच द गैमेट्स आर फॉर्म फ्रॉम द मेल कोनेट एंड फीमेल कोनेट एक्चुअली द टू स्टेप्स कंप्लीटेड ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस दैट मीन्स फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए मेल कोनेट in by the process known as spermatogenesis and formation of the female gonad that is ova by a process known as oogenesis so first we going to continue with the spermatogenesis spermatogenesis is a process in which the sperms are formed these sperms formed from diploid cell the diploid cell present in the seminiferous tubule that seminiferous tubule having the cells which are undergoes different changes and thus the sperms are formed during this process we study the two stages completed to in the two stages the process is completed that are cell division or phases of cell division first one is the mitosis and second one is the meiosis so shortly the mitosis is the equational division and meiosis is the reductional division that means chromosome number remains same in the mitosis that means the two sets of chromosomes for example in human being total number of chromosomes are 46 five during the meiosis process this number reduces to half that means it remains 23 so meiosis is known as the reductional division during this spermatogenesis the sperm as uh, sperms are formed by the mitosis and meiosis from the diploid cell it forms haploid so this step completed sperm not only spermatogenesis but also oogenesis it completed in the three phases first one is known as the multiplication second one is known as the growth and third one is known as the maturation so first step is known as the multiplication multiplication that is the cells going undergoes division it multiplies in number so actually the number of cells increases the primordial germ cell of the seminiferous tubule which is diploid in nature it convert or it forms two cells these two cells again undergoes division and forms four cells these cells are known as the spermatogonia and it undergoes the first stage of cell division that is mitosis that means number increases of the cells but the chromosome number remains as it is that is diploid primordial germ cells forms diploid spermatogonia then the spermatogonia undergoes the second phase that means diploid spermatogenic cell undergoes growth and it forms a enlarged primary spermatocyte which is again diploid in nature this primary spermatocyte undergoes meiosis first that means during third stage or third phase of division or growth Uh, or spermatogenesis the primary spermatocyte undergoes meiosis first remember meiosis first that is the reductional division the diploid set of chromosome gets converted into haploid that means the secondary spermatocyte is haploid then it again undergoes division and it forms that is known as the secondary meiosis or meiosis second it forms haploid spermatids these are non functional and non motile then these spermatids gets converted into spermatozoa or sperm that is haploid nature but the process is important the term is important conversion of the spermatids into the sperms is known as spermiogenesis there is always confusion between the spermatogenesis and spermiogenesis so remember there is always question for the board or for the exam 
process which process the spermatids gets converted into the sperms that is known as the spermiogenesis so from the spermatids the sperms are formed both are haploid thus these three phases the process of spermatogenesis completed also like this type the process second process oogenesis also form that means the primary germ cell undergoes division that is multiplication it forms the oogonia that oogonia undergoes growth phase form sperm uh, primary oocyte then it again undergoes development and forms primary this primary oocyte which is diploid in nature undergoes division forms the secondary oocyte that secondary oocyte while formation of secondary oocyte during the meiosis first takes place a additional structure known as the polar body formed it is known as the first polar body then it again undergoes the formation of ova or ovum takes place that means the secondary oocyte which is haploid in nature primary oocyte which is diploid in nature meiosis first then from form a secondary oocyte then ovum which is haploid but during this time again the formation of one polar body takes place and thus there is also division total three polar bodies are formed during the oogenesis like this the formation of ovum which is haploid phases are same multiplication growth and maturation multiplication growth and maturation like this with the help of mitosis and meiosis uh, oogenesis and spermatogenesis processes are completed then the next actually these two processes are important next part is formation of ovum and formation of sperm so the male gonad form a testis forms a male gamete that is known as sperm sperm is motile and it forms uh, a typical structure it contains three parts first one is known as the head then second part main three types neck then third uh, head neck then middle piece and last one is known as the tail so the head of sperm we study the ultra structure of sperm it contains somewhat oval nucleus and besides this nucleus at the end or at the at terminal uh, axial end it having a cap like structure then it shows the centriole then it also shows a row of mitochondria in the middle piece then it continues into the tail end of there is always question related with the sperm human sperm for two marks or three marks thus it contains middle piece contains a row of mitochondria which is useful during the movement or for energy can provision of or provides energy for locomotion to the sperm a oval nucleus in the head region and on the upper side of the head region there is a cap like structure that is known as the acrosome that acrosome 
secretes a hormone that is known as hyaluronidase and also lysine then it contain a nucleus then there is a neck region narrow region that is known as neck it also contains a middle piece which contains a row of mitochondria then there is a axial filament up to the end of the tail region so these are the parts of the human sperm it is motile then it is also haploid then another it is a male gamete then another part we are going to study that is the female gamete known as ovum or unfertilized egg it also contains a vesical body in the center it is not a nucleus then yolk material then surrounding to this there is a membrane phytoline membrane surrounding to this phytoline membrane or there is a space between two membranes that is known as the periphytoline space then it again contains or it is surrounded by a membrane which is important up to the process of fertilization and formation of zygote that is known as the zona pellucida then it is surrounded by a single layer or irregular arranged cells that are known as the corona radiata irregular mass of cells that corona radiata so the simple structure of ovum consists of the different layers outer one is known as the corona radiata then it is covered with a irregular mass of cell membrane or it is also known as plasma membrane it is the physical body then the outer to this yolk or phytoline membrane or yolk membrane then are surrounding to this there is a periphytoline membrane then zona pellucida and next corona radiata thus the male gamete and female gamete are also formed after the completion of process of gametogenesis that is formation of spermatogenesis and oogenesis thus besides this all these processes next these are important for the few of fertilization so in this way we completed gametogenesis thank you